over the years, activities of criminals have skyrocketed in the country, especially during the dark hours of the night. Armed robbery, magging and car snatching have become a nightmare to many road users at night. As part of measures to curb the recent spate of criminal activities, the Greater Accra Regional Police Command has intensified its night patrols and snap checkpoints. Abdul Hai Mumin was with the police on one such night patrol and reports that while we sleep at night, commune with the Lord or just stay out to have fun, the men in uniform are wide awake and keeping us safe. It is past midnight and most of Accra is asleep. A few other parts of the capital are still very much awake. The duties of a patrol team are many and varied. From preventing crime to ensuring safety at night, the police have their hands full. This is because as people go about their legitimate businesses or go about having fun at night, they unconsciously become prone to different forms of danger. Many drivers and passengers, for instance, do not wear their seat belts on weekends, while others take more alcohol than usual. But the police are always at hand to ensure that the right thing is done at all times. This man has just been brought to the Dansuman police station for reckless driving. It was later discovered that he was drunk and reeked of alcohol. There is also the danger from criminals. According to police reports, some criminals usually go about their activities at night using unregistered vehicles. Drivers with unregistered vehicles are therefore always accosted by the police after 6 p.m. This driver has just been stopped by the police for driving an unregistered vehicle outside the permitted hours. To make matters worse, he has a police emblem displayed in the car even though he is not a police officer. Prostitution, another feature of nightlife in Accra, also remains a challenge for the police. It is an illegal venture, but efforts by the police to curb it has yielded little results as the night workers go about their duties in the full glare of the men in uniform. So, how is the police handling the issue of prostitution, a regular illegal feature at night? We turned our lenses in the direction of the Public Relations Officer of the Accra Regional Police Command, DSP Freeman Tete, for the answer. It is very difficult to uh, determine who a prostitute is because if you find ladies in town, you don't just go after them. We are, we are very mindful of the human rights of people. In a few occasions, uh, if it is established that uh, a particular person or group of uh, female uh, prostitutes, we come after them. But uh, you don't just go and run people up just because they are in town and they, they dress in a manner that uh, which people claim is unacceptable. Several accidents occur at night and in times like these, the police are always the first port of call. This taxi has just been involved in an accident. Luckily, there are no fatalities and the police move in to clean up the mess. On this particular night, there were no reports of armed robbery. However, they got a call through the intercom that the body of a man who had committed suicide had been found and had been deposited at the Kolebu mortuary. Motorists and people who do legitimate business at night say the police patrols and snap checkpoints have improved the security situation in the capital. What they are doing is, is very, very good because I don't have anything, any legal thing in my car. So I just came to them. I, I own my light so that they see that I'm a genuine person. Every time, yeah, it's almost stopping and almost at you. I'm not too much kindly. It's not a good thing. They, however, complain that some police officers extort money from them. DSP Fremantete responds to this allegation. In as much as we are here to maintain uh, discipline, we want our men as also to be disciplined. So that is why we continue to entreat members of the public 
that uh, um, people who misconduct themselves uh, should be reported to the police intelligence and professional standards below. On the matter of police contributing to traffic buildup at night, DSP Freeman Tete appealed to motorists to bear with them while giving the assurance that strategies are being formulated to ensure that the checks are done more quickly. The police say they are at the service of the ordinary Ghanaian both day and night. So, if you ever find yourself in any difficult situation, just dial their emergency numbers 191 or 18555 for assistance. Abdul Haimumin, GTV News, Accra.